The Secret Science Behind Miracles by Fra Max Freedom Long. Chapter 12, Part B. A Bishop Materializes After 400 Years of Death. Carlo Mirabelli, a South American medium of Indian blood, provided excellent examples of nearly all types of psychic phenomena. Dr. Fodor writes, Mirabelli's phenomena of materialization were astounding. The figures were not only complete, they were not only photographed, but medical men made minute examinations, which lasted sometimes as long as for 15 minutes and stated that the newly constituted human beings had perfect anatomical structure. After the examination was completed, the figure began to dissolve from the feet upwards, the bust and arms floating in the air. One of the doctors exclaimed, but this is too much, and rushed forward and seized the half of the body. The next moment he uttered a shrill cry and sank unconscious to the ground. On returning to consciousness, he only remembered that when he had seized the phantom, it had felt as if his fingers were pressing a spongy, flaccid mass of substance. Then he received a shock and lost consciousness. For 36 minutes in broad daylight, the materialization of the little daughter of Dr. Souza, who died of influenza, was visible to all the sitters. She appeared in her grave clothes. Her pulse was tested. Father and child were photographed. Then the phantom raised itself and floated in the air. In another sitting, Mirabelli announced that he saw the bottom of Bishop Dr. Jose Carmago Barros, who lost his life in a shipwreck. A sweet smell as of roses filled the room. The medium went into trance. A fine mist was seen in the circle of sitters. The mist, glowing as if of gold, parted and the bishop materialized and all the robes and insignia of office. He called his own name. Dr. Souza stepped to him. He palpitated the body, touched his teeth, tested the saliva, listened to the heartbeat, investigated the working of the intestines, nails and eyes, without finding anything amiss. Then the other attending persons convinced themselves of the reality of the apparition. The bishop bent smilingly over Mirabelli and looked at him silently. Then he slowly dematerialized. At the sixth setting, Mirabelli tied and sealed, disappeared from the room and was found in another room still in trance. All seals on doors and windows were found in order, as well as the seals on Mirabelli himself. Once, among 14 investigators, his arms dematerialized. On the photograph, only a slight shadow is visible. Part C. Yolanda and her materializations. Madame Elizabeth Desperance, a famous medium, had, among other spirits who materialized at her seances, an Arab girl of 15 named Yolanda. This girl would appear in a mist and take several minutes to become fully materialized. Then, in good light, she was accustomed to talk with the living and to make objects in the room appear and disappear. She produced apports in great numbers and caused plants to grow in water bottles filled with water and sand, a large plant being grown in a few minutes. 
The medium was found by the investigator Alexander N. Aksakoff, A-K-S-A-K-O-F, on one occasion to have dematerialized the lower half of her body while visible spiritual materializations were in the seance room. The upper half of the medium seemed to be suspended in air. She was not in trance and was frightened to discover her condition calling the investigator's attention to the situation. Others present also assured themselves that there was nothing in the collapsed garments of the medium below the waist. Ten years later, Aksakoff published a weighty opinion which years of study and observation had forced upon him. The opinion that, in some cases at least, quote, the body of the medium is entirely absorbed for the production of apparitions. End quote. 